Hi, let us learn how to create a simple process animated graphic with six steps. This is mainly to demonstrate to you how to use animation to draw the viewer's attention to different elements on a slide. On a click, this is the first one and we draw the viewer's attention to the second step, then to the third step, to the fourth step, to the fifth step and to the final step. It's a very simple animation. Even beginners can do it. Let me show you how to do it from scratch. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle, a collection of more than 4,500 premium animated PowerPoint templates that help you create beautiful and engaging presentations in minutes. I am on a new slide. Let us go to home and go to auto shapes gallery. From basic shapes, let us pick up this one called as diamond shape. Let us hold the shift button down and draw a diamond shape like so. And you can write your number here inside one. And you can choose a thicker font. In this case, I'm going to use two sen empty condensed extra bold and increase the size like so. That looks good. Maybe if you want, you can change the fill color and then you can go to shape outline and say no outline. All these are your personal choices. And then let us have the explanation for the first step of the process. I'm going to just copy this text and then place it over here. Now place this in such a way that using smart guide, you can have this right in the center. Now the first animation is to have this spin. So let us select this, then go to animations and then use emphasis animation called spin. So that is how it spins. Now that is a very slow movement. Let us go to the duration and have it as 0.5 seconds and hit enter. Go to animation pane and you can even have this with a simple bounce end like so and then say OK. So can you see here it spins with a bounce at the end. Then right after that we are going to have this float in from top. So let us go to float in and say float down and this happens for 0.5 seconds happens after previous. So when I go to slideshow on a click, this is how the animation happens. If you want, you can have this happen with previous as well. So this is the way the animation looks. Quite nice. Now let us select both of them, press Ctrl D and then place them over here. Now we have the next step and make sure that the positioning is proper using Smart Guide. Now this looks good. Now I just need to hit Ctrl D again, again, again and again. So we've got our six steps in place. We just need to go here and change the numbers so everything looks proper. Since we have copied a set of animated objects, you can see that all these other copies also have the same animation. Next, we need to connect these various steps of the process. For that, let me go to Home, go to Auto Shapes Gallery. From Lines, let us pick up the Simple Line tool. Right click and say Lock Drawing Mode. So we can draw our lines without having to go back to Auto Shapes Gallery every time. Let me click on this point, which is the connector point, and then click to connect this to the other connector point. Done. Once again, you can see that my cursor still has access to the line tool. So click this and click this connect. Click this, click this, connect. You do this connection and in one go, you're able to connect all these lines quite nicely. And then just hit escape to claim your cursor back. Now let us select all of these lines and let us have them a little more interesting. Let us go to shape outline, give this black color, increase the weight like so. If you want, you can even have them end with a rounded end. So let us go to format object, go to line and then say the cap type is round and join type is round. You can also have these end points to have small circles. So this looks even more beautiful. So let us right click on all these lines after selecting them. Let us go to format object, go to the line option, then go to begin arrow type. And that needs to be a small circle like this, which is oval arrow. End arrow type also needs to be oval arrow. Now we need to add animation to each of them. So let us select this, 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 and this while holding the shift button down. Then go to animations and say wipe and this happens from left. Now let us go to animation pane and see where we need to keep these. Let us have all of them as on click. The first one spins and we have this revealed. So that is okay. 
Now the next set needs to start only after this wipes in. So let us select this and then move it to here and then say this is after previous. So this wipes in and then this spins and then this gets float in. The same thing needs to be done for the next one. Place this above number three and then change the next one to after previous. Go to number four, change the next one to after previous. Do the same thing for five and then change this to after previous and this last step and say after previous. So when we go to slideshow, on a click we have the first one spinning and the text reveals. Then on a click we have the wipe, spin and then float in. Wipe, spin, float in, wipe, spin, float in, wipe, spin, float in and wipe, spin, float in. So that is how you create a simple animated process infographic with six steps. Once you learn this, you can of course have as many steps as you want. You can change the shapes of these to create your own variation. This really opens up a lot of options for you. Now let me show you three example animated templates taken from our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. The first one is this, where we show the first step of the process and then a hand brings in the second step and then the third step. The next example is this one where we show three steps in a very different way. So this is the first step with explanation and then the second step and then the third step. Again, you can see that all of these are based on the same idea of moving the audience's attention from one step to the next. The final example is this one where we show four key faces. On a click, we first establish the four faces like this. Then we show phase one and the explanation, phase two and its explanation, phase three and its explanation, and phase four and its explanation. If you are a busy professional and you don't have the time to create these kind of elaborate animated process infographic slides, then we have our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle to your rescue. The bundle has more than 4,500 premium PowerPoint animated templates that help you create professional looking slide deck in a matter of minutes. I will leave a link to this product in the description box below the video. You can click on the link and check out more details. If you liked this tutorial, then you will really love this other tutorial that we have put together called Easy to Create Animated PowerPoint Infographic. It's an impressive looking infographic that you can create even if you are a beginner in PowerPoint. I will leave a link to this video in the description box below the video. You can also watch that video by clicking on the link that you see right here on your screen. Click on the link watch the video and learn a very interesting way to create animated PowerPoint infographic. I'll see you inside that video.